All right, everybody, here we go. That's the tensioner right here. So you gotta have this tensioner off to put the pulley back in. Those are the 10 inch bolts that you gotta put in. First, put the pulley in, then jack up and down the motor without this tensioner in. So you have to take this tensioner in to get that pulley over there, okay? And then the wrenches you need to do this is these two. These tools right here are, are it, right there. See that? The long deal right here, and then see how this goes? You can move this up and down. You can put it around like that. 2009. This is the number 10. It's a Husky. And it does that. That's what you need. These two tools will get you in and out with your water pump. You've got to take off the side. Uh, the cover here, people say you don't have to. And then you don't have to take off the rest of this, but I did. I'm suspending it, as you can tell. We could access it here. And we got a low profile jack, three ton jack. All right, you got to have that. The two tools I said right here. And then you got to have, um, you got to have manpower. Okay, you can ju get just about anywhere with this. Replacing a 2009 water pump and tensioner. And here's the deal. This tensioner was bad. They told us at the shop that it was, it wasn't the tensioner, that it was the water pump. Well, it was both. This tensioner was broken. It wasn't turning in the pulley on the water pump. So that's it. Let me know if you got any questions. And if you could see this here, the gasket, it's all pressed in, compressed. No good anymore. It's supposed to stay out. I don't know if you could see it. Well, that's flush, more than flush. Water just got through that. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell. And uh, my mechanic here, he's top notch. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll leave the description below of where he can be found. Thank you. Bye.